Hi and welcome to City Happenings. I'm Mayor David Black. The 69th annual Papillion Days experienced another successful year. We'll hear from one of the persons directly involved with one of the oldest elements of Papillion Days. And the developmentally disabled get a huge boost from local businesses. We'll talk to one of these business owners and find out what they do to help. Another business opens in town, this time in Market Point. Please enjoy all of these stories and city happenings for the week of June 27th. Thanks, Mayor Black. The 69th annual Papillion Days was recently held. One of the most popular and fun events is the Kitty Parade. People look forward to this every year, and there's actually a few entrants that come every time that I just wait to see how creative they're going to be. It's amazing the talent and the cute kids we have in this community, and they come out in force. The Kitty Parade is one of the oldest parts of Papillion Days. One of our members in our group, um, she's been in the club 50 years, and she was in the very first Papillion Kitty Parade that we had. So this is, this is an institution, and it's something people really look forward to. Local businesses are partnering to offer programs for developmentally disabled folks. One Papillion business owner explains. Through kind of our, our craftsmanship program, we give individuals the opportunity to learn um, kind of like a trade of furniture refinishing and repurposing. And so um, we'll find very inexpensive or free pieces and figure out a way to kind of bring them life again. A Gardner says refurbishing furniture is a realistic skill set. We've taught people with disabilities how to sand and um, refinish and paint and stain and um, you know kind of add character to a piece that maybe somebody else might have tossed away. There is a lot of upside to this. By doing so they not only are filling a void in regards to like um, a customer want need um, but then the sale of the product then in turn provides profit for them and so we'll, we'll get something at very low cost. They will um, learn a skill set on how to refinish it and then in turn reap a, a benefit or a profit. The bottom line for this is teaching and obtaining something viable. Through the process, um, it, it's really our goal to um, really make them or, or assist with ownership all the way from the beginning. So in the program we will um, we'll go to garage sales or go to Goodwills and thrift shops and, and, and find pieces with our people and, and help them kind of plan the whole process on, on how to refinish or repurpose a particular good. A. Gartner explains the process after they come up with a game plan. We'll then identify all of the supplies needed, tools needed, um, whether it's screws and glue or, or added wood. Then they come with us to the hardware store and they, we do all the purchasing together. Then we come back and we help them do the cuts and, and really make the piece come to life. A well-known communications company opens a store in Market Point. Summer is officially here, and with that, there are many great offerings. There's Sumter Amphitheater events, Farmer's Market and City Park every Wednesday with live music, our great parks, Papio Bay, and the Splash Pads, just to name a few. Slide the City's coming back on August 13th. There are lots of ways to stay up to date with what's happening in Papillion. You can find us on Facebook, follow the City of Papillion on Twitter, or even watch our YouTube channel. Information about all of our departments and programs is available on our website. For more about Papillion, go to www.papillion.org or just call the Mayor's Hotline at 402-827-1111. Thanks for watching.